everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet the Rosetta Beanie, which I have my sample one here in front of me and uh, here I have it without a pom-pom on the top, but you're welcome to add a pom-pom or not. It's totally up to you. The beanie looks great with or without. This is the Rosetta beanie. It's worked in one of my favorite stitch patterns called the Almond Ridges stitch. It's very easy, very quick to work up. It's made with a super bulky weight yarn. Today I'm using the Lion Brand Woolies Thick and Quick. There's about 87 yards in each ball. You're only going to need one ball uh, for the hat. Today I'll be working in the sea glass color. Uh, here in my sample, I've worked it in the Astro Land color. For this hat is sized to fit an adult. Later on, I'll give you some stitch multiples should you wish to change the size of your beanie. For the design, you're also going to need a 10 millimeter crochet hook or an N15 and a copy of the free written pattern, which is on my website at richtexturescrochet.com. So thank you so much for joining me while you're here. I invite you to subscribe, take a look around. There's lots of other crochet beanie patterns here on this channel. If you like working in the bulky weight yarn, you may want to check out the Belfast beanie. Uh, and there are, again, many others. The channel is updated weekly. So thank you so much for joining me. Don't forget to subscribe. Let's grab our hooks and yarn and get started on this Rosetta beanie. Now our beanie today is worked in rounds and we're going to start at the brim of our hat and work our way to the top. So you're going to start by making a slip knot and you're going to chain a foundation chain of 40 chains. This is to fit an adult head, so a circumference of about 20 to 22 inches. If you need to change the size of your beanie, you're going to need a multiple of eight stitches for your foundation chain. So today we're going to chain 40. There's 30. And 40. Once you've worked that foundation chain, being careful not to twist the chain, you will want to join with a slip stitch into your first stitch. I like to work into the back bumps of my stitches just because I like the finished edge that it produces, but it's really up to you. So you're just going to slip stitch into that first stitch without twisting your chain. You're then going to chain one and working in each stitch all the way around, you're simply going to work one single crochet. So single crochet in each stitch all the way around when you come to your first stitch, you're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of that first single crochet. Once you come all the way around at the end of round one, you're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch, chain one, and turn your work. You'll again want to make sure that this band is not twisted when you join. You're then going to begin by round two by working a slip stitch in the back loop only of each of the first four stitches. So in the back loop only, to find your back loop you're going to look at the top of your stitch and you see this V on the top of the stitch. Your back loop only is this loop that's furthest away from you. So slip stitch into that back loop only of each of the next 
four stitches. Next, you're going to half double crochet, working in the back loop only of each of the next four stitches. You're going to repeat that all the way around. Slip stitch in the back loop only of each of the next four stitches. Followed by a half double crochet in the back loop only of each of the next four stitches. Repeat all the way around and join with a slip stitch under both loops of your first slip stitch. At the end of round two, you're going to join with a slip stitch into that first stitch, chain one, and turn your work. For round three, you're going to continue working in the back loop only and you're going to work a half double crochet in each of the first four stitches. Next, work a slip stitch in each of the next four stitches working again in the back loop only. You're going to repeat that all the way around, working in the back loop only, half double crochet in each of the next four stitches, followed by a slip stitch in each of the next four stitches, and then join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. At the end of round three, join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch, chain one, and turn your work. Now for round four, you're going to begin by working a half double crochet, working in the back loop only of each of the first four stitches. followed by a slip stitch in the back loop only of each of the next four stitches. You're going to repeat that half double crochet in the back loop only of each of the next four stitches, followed by a slip stitch in the back loop only of each of the next four stitches. All the way around and join with the slip stitch in the back and the top of your first stitch. At the end of round four, you're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch, chain one, and turn your work. For round five, we're going to continue working in the back loop only. You'll start by working a slip stitch in each of the first four stitches. followed by a half double crochet in the back loop only of each of the next four stitches. You're going to repeat that all the way around. Slip stitch in the back loop only of each of the next four stitches, followed by a half double crochet in the back loop only of each of the next four stitches. Join with the slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. At the end of round five, you're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. Chain one and turn your work. 
Now for the next six rounds. So rounds six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. You're going to repeat rounds two, three, four, and five once more, and then repeat rounds two and three once more following that. So starting with your round two, slip stitch in each of the next four, followed by our half double crochet, and so on. So you're going to repeat rounds two, three, four, and five once more, and then go ahead and repeat rounds two and three one final time, and then meet me back here, and we will work the top of our hat. At the end of your round 11, this is what your work from the beginning work looks like, your round of single crochet. Then you have 10 rounds of this almond stitch pattern. You're then going to at the end join with a slip stitch in that first stitch, chain one, and turn your work. We're going to continue working in our back loops only, and we're going to start our decrease round. So for round 12, you're going to begin by working a half double crochet in the back loop only of each of the next four stitches. You're then going to slip stitch in the back loop only of the next stitch and then slip stitch two stitches together. To work my slip stitch two together, I'm going to insert my hook into the next stitch, yarn over and drop a loop, insert my hook into the next stitch, yarn over and drop a loop, and draw that loop through the first two loops on your hook. You're then going to slip stitch in the next stitch. You're going to repeat that all the way around. Half double crochet working in the back loop only of each of the next four stitches. Slip stitch into the next stitch and then slip stitch two stitches together. Repeat, or sorry, slip stitch in the next stitch and then repeat. All the way around, join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. At the end of your round 12, you're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch, chain one, and turn your work. For round 13, working in the back loop only, you're going to slip stitch in each of the next three stitches. Next, work a half double crochet in the next stitch, followed by a half double crochet two stitches together over your next two stitches. To work my half double crochet two together, I'm going to yarn over, insert my hook into the next stitch, yarn over and drop a loop, insert my hook into the next stitch, yarn over and drop a loop, four loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all four. You're then going to half double crochet into the next stitch. Repeat that all the way around. Slip stitch in the back loop only of each of the next three stitches. Half double crochet in the back loop only of the next stitch. Half double crochet two stitches together in the back loops only over each of the next two stitches, and then half double crochet in the back loop only of the next stitch. Repeat that all the way around and join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. At 
At the end of round 13, you'll have a total of 30 stitches. You're going to chain one and turn your work. For round 14, working in the back loop only all the way around, slip stitch in each of the next three stitches. And then work a half double crochet three stitches together. Yarn over, insert your hook under the back loop only of the next stitch, yarn over and drop a loop. Insert your hook in the back loop only of the next stitch, yarn over and drop a loop. Do that one more time, insert your hook in the back loop only of the next stitch, yarn over and drop a loop. You'll have five loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all five loops on your hook. You're then going to slip stitch in each of the next three stitches and repeat half double crochet three stitches together over the next three stitches and slip stitch in each of the next three stitches all the way around. At the end of round 14, you'll have a total of 20 stitches. You can chain one and turn your work. For round 15, we're going to continue working in the back loop only of each stitch all the way around. You're going to begin by working a slip stitch three together over the first three stitches. To work your slip stitch three together, insert your hook in the next stitch, yarn over and drop a loop. Insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over and drop a loop, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, drop a loop, and draw that loop through the first three loops on your hook. You're then going to work a half double crochet in the back loop only of the next stitch. Repeat that all the way around, all the way around. slip stitch three together over your next three stitches, and half double crochet in the back loop only of the next stitch. When you come all the way around, join with a slip stitch into the back and to the top of your first stitch. At the end of round 15, you'll have a total of 10 stitches. Join with a slip stitch into the first stitch, chain one, and turn your work. Now for the final round, round 16, working in that back loop only, you're simply going to half double crochet two stitches together all the way around. At the end of this round, you're only going to have five stitches left. You're then going to join with a slip stitch into the top of that first stitch and fasten off we, uh, leaving a long tail. You're then going to take that long tail and thread it through your yarn needle and you're going to use the top or use that long tail to sew the top of your hat closed. To sew the top of your hat closed, you're simply going to weave in and out through these top stitches and pull tight. Slip your needle through to the inside of your beanie and on the inside you'll want to secure it. and then weave in your end.
You can then go ahead, fasten off, weave in any other ends that you might still have hanging around, and then your beanie looks great without a pom-pom, or if you wish, you can add one to it as well. So that's all there is to making the Rosetta beanie. Thank you so much for joining me. Once again, don't forget to subscribe, and if you happen to make this hat, feel free to tag Rich Textures Crochet on social media. I would love to come and admire it. So until next time, happy crocheting. Bye.